Hey guys, so this is gonna be part three of the Diamond League in Monaco where we had the men's 200 meters where Noah Laws, I guess, broke his own meeting record. Now, Noah Laws has been in a tantrum this year, like winning the world champion with a new record, which is the American record, making him the fourth fastest man of all time. And then, no, third fastest man, let me correct that. He ran a 1931, beating Michael Johnson's time. And then he came back and ran this time, which is a 1940. I would say this, by next year, I think Noah Lyles might get the um, world record. But that's, gonna, that's too much of a stretch right now. But I believe he's closer to the world record than anybody else. I believe next year he might get like at least a 1926, which will beat, um, what's his name again? Johan Blake, which he ran in 2011. He ran a 1926, making him the second fastest man behind Usain Bolt. So let's check out the Monaco Diamond League where Noah Elias broke his own meeting record. So I forgot. So he had Arian Knighton, Kenny Benerick, Michael Norman. So all those four guys had won a either a medal or a world championship title. That's the latter half of the race. He's starting well. Lyle's leading there, second to left at the moment, out in lane seven. Mike Norman's had a fabulous bend though at the moment. It's very tight between these two. Every night struggling. I'm expecting Mike Norman to come back. But Lyle's showing that stretch again. Watch the clock from Lyle's. 19.45. Boy, oh boy. He breaks his own meeting record by two tenths of a second. That was back in 2018. And he shows yet again, he demonstrates in spectacular, dominant fashion that this is his best distance, that he is world number one. 1946, in fact. Another meeting record on what's been a glorious night of track and field. And there is more to come. But you see that, right? Knighton is not too... Let's go back a little bit. If you look at this... Night, area night is not too far behind. It's gonna be a battle between them two, as well as you know, Kenny is the silver medalist for a reason. So, but Lyle shows that stretch again. Watch the clock from Lyle 1945. Boy, oh boy, he breaks his he got the meet record. He ran world lead of 1931 and then came back and be his own record which he set back in 2018 which now he runs in 1945 Stone meeting record by two tenths of a second that was back in 2018 and he shows yet again he demonstrates in spectacular dominant fashion that this is his best distance that he is world number one 1946 in fact but let's not forget Arian Knighton has been doing well as well and Michael Norman, which he is the world champion, he came down from the four to the two to run this meet race. You know, Norman still has some good 200 um, speed. And I think what Norman is doing is pretty smart as well. He's running 200s consistently so that when, when he do runs the 400, he could even get it higher of a personal best. Another meeting record on what's been a glorious night of track and field and there is more to come but Steve I was expecting a drop Damn, to look at that look at that time Noah Laws 1946 Kenny Benerick got in 1984 Norman got um no let me correct that yeah 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 so Noah Laws 1946 Arian Knighton got a 1948, Michael Norman got a 1995, and Gordu from the Dominican Republic got 20.02, and Brown from the, what's his name, Brown from Canada got a 2023. And Joseph East Lyles, which is his brother, runs 2026. And 
Fembule ran 20.46 and Zezi from France got a 20.78 uh, and I think um, Kenny got Place shut off the what is it for, no, that ends to Kenny he is that's crazy though so those are the times and I like I said congratulations to Noah Lyles like I tell you he's been on a butt whooping tour you know his biggest rival right now is Arian Knighton because they've been going back to back on each other the it's it's pretty crazy but congratulations to um, Noah Lyles for winning with a new meet record beating his own meet record so he's getting faster and faster as the season ends so Lord knows what we're gonna see next year at the world championships but let me know what you guys think do you think Noah Lyles is gonna get faster along with Arian Knighton um, let me know and I will be making some predictions and next month to talk about who I might think that might win the world championship next year on the men and women's side on each of the events and I'll see you guys in the next video okay guys bye bye